Hey there Star Wars fans, we've got another Star Wars Vintage Collection figure review today. I'm excited about this one, Tuscan Warrior and the Massif. Yeah, I've been eyeing this one off for a little while now. Uh, trying to just be tempted not to just get the cheap out and get the single carded one. Um, which is, you know, it's still 30, 30 bucks. Um, but this one, JB Hi-Fi had for only only 40 bucks so it's um you know it, it's it's better than most retailers which are you know 45 for these deluxe some of them even 50 and up um depending on where you go and where you shop so yeah i've been really looking forward to picking this one up um because yeah it is the same figure as the single carded version but to come with the massive and it's a new it's a new figure there the the beast dog the tuscan dog um so I was pretty excited to uh, add another one. I do have one of the one of the first ones, um, maybe even two. I can't remember. I know I've got at least one of the the old version. So, so I'll give you a scan around the box and have a bit of a look. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, I know Hasbro Pulse have just released uh, the sort of four pack of Tuscans from Book of Boba Fett. Um, so I'm really wanting to track one of those down. If anyone has the ability to, to help out there, that'd be awesome. Um, because yeah, Hasbro Pulse, not yet available in the land of Australia. So yeah, we, we can't get the four pack, um, unless it ends up on eBay, which might be the only option. Um, might be the, it won't be the best option, but it might be the option. Uh, that I have to take so but that's okay I will track them down at some point um, the four packs they're, they're cool that Hasbro's doing those sort of very simple troop builder packs but um the Tuscan one really grabbed me and uh, that's one I definitely definitely have to get all right so we are just going to open this on screen here so there's the figure she's tucked in there really nicely so I know I could just rip the cardboard but I decided to just be nice and careful this time. Move her out of the way, and we got the accessories bag, which is just sort of just tape in there at a random spot. And we'll just rip that off. Chuck that aside. Let's have a look here. So yeah, it should have. The gaffy stick. looks nice nicely sculpted it's a brown with the sort of silver tip on the end it's nice and nice and sturdy plastic um, I know some of the, the most recent like Tuscan Raiders that come out they've been a little bit a little bit soft but here is the massive massive um, yeah it's a this is this is nice you know, perfect opportunity to put one out. Again, given their appearance in Book of Boba Fett. And even uh, Mandalorian Season 2. As Din goes up and gives one a pat. That's cool. Some nice joints there on the on the legs, like a ball, ball and socket. So that's nice. No other articulation on the legs, but that's fine. Yeah, you get them looking pretty nice. Details are nice. Paint ups look good. The sculpt looks fantastic, really nice. So they've got the spikes on the back, they're not too sharp. Well they're not sharp at all, but which is good. <laughs> Yeah, the the legs they're all they're all jointed the same. And a soft sort of malleable plastic on the legs, which is nice. It allows for a little bit of flexibility. Take a look at the head there. Looks to be yeah a ball and socket there on the head. Of course, being careful not to uh, not to damage the thing. But it allows for a little bit good range of side by side movement there. A 
on the jaw, which opens up. That's fantastic. Yeah, I really like that. That's that's really really cool. I love the teeth sort of close close up together and sort of cross over a little bit. That's nice. You can always have this one sort of rearing back a little bit, trying to ward off its, its fender. So that's cool. Let's see, sort of see how it just sort of sits. Yeah, that's really nice. I dig that. I'm really a big fan of that. That's. I'm glad I held off and bought this version with this with this little guy or girl species of massive really cool that's a really nice addition I'm, I'm big fan of that that makes me want the uh all the tuscans even more just to be able to fill that out all right let's get a look at her tuscan warrior she was fantastic in the series i really really liked her she's just completely kick ass Interesting thing about the figure is at least the top half of the torso there, you can sort of see those cross wraps um, and the arms with the gloves. Um, that is just reused from the Force Awakens Ray figure, which is not a bad way to reuse a figure. I mean, it's it works perfectly. I know in the show, technically you're not wearing gloves and you know, the, the, the sort of outfit doesn't quite match up, but for the fact that it's mostly just sort of under, you let your imagination sort of take precedence and go, oh, well, look, if it means they could, uh, you know, cut a couple of corners just to get this figure out, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. But, um, yeah, nice nice sculpt all over anyway. Like, that Ray figure was pretty decent, but I'm loving all the, uh, the details on the front here. That's fantastic. Looks like there's, like, shells and beads and sort of stuff like that. It's really cool. So underneath the legs, not recalling if these have been reused, but I don't think they're raised pants. So you need different bottoms there. Fabric looks good. It's got that sort of almost fraying sort of fabric which I've used on the Tuscans before. So you know, you get whether you you know you lose a little bit there, it frays a little bit, it doesn't matter too much because the Tuscans are quite sort of worn and weathered with their outfits anyway. But yeah, I loved I love the way they sort of brought in blacks into the outfits of this particular tribe of Tuscan Raiders from Book of Boba Fett. It was really cool. Yeah, you can see it sort of see there the sculpting of of Ray originally, but you know to be able to put out a sort of like a soft plastic, soft malleable plastic here to put over the top. It does. It changes the outfit and then the head sculpt here. Obviously, looks nice. Allowing a lot of movement with the sort of the longer sort of tassels over the top. Assume they're tassels, I don't know what else to call them. Yeah, let's see. She will hold that reasonably nicely, I reckon. Yeah, that's that's nice. That looks good. Yeah, really looking forward to uh the Nomad Boba Fett to go with this one. Shouldn't be too far away here in Australia. I've seen, seen a few reviews of them starting to pop out in other places. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to that one. And yeah, definitely want to get a hold of that Tuscan Raider 4 pack at some stage. I don't know how, I don't know when. But um, yeah, to have that sort of scene all fleshed out would be awesome. But this is a this is a nice nice figure. I'm I'm really glad to really glad to have this one in the collection to be honest and yeah like i said i'm i'm glad i didn't just grab the regular vintage carded one and held out for this one i 
That being said, the vintage card is quite nice. So if you're a card collector, that's definitely a nice one to get. But um, yeah, there's the Tuscan Warrior and the Massif. Stand, they display well together there. It's nice, really nice. I'm very eager to start getting my collection all up and displayed with my figures and in, in their sort of themes and, and films. So a lot of these new ones that I'm getting, they slot in there, it would be very nice. Alright folks, let me know what you think. Please send out in the comments down below, that would be awesome. Love to hear from you, love to hear your thoughts always. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again for another review real soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.